Testing one, two, testing one, two. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Kathy? Okay, good. Be right back. Hello, everyone, again, welcome. This is Online Trader Central. The website is Online Trader Central. Your host presenter today, Melissa Armour with the stockswish.com. And we'll be starting promptly uh, in just a couple of minutes. Thank you so much, everyone, and welcome again, Online Trader Central. Hello, everyone, again, and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. We'll be starting promptly in just about a minute or so here. Uh, Melissa Armour is your host and presenter today, and we will be starting promptly. And we do try to stick to the time schedule. We do appreciate each and every one of you here today. Again, this is Online Trader Central. Your host and presenter today, I'm Melissa Armour from thestocksquish.com. That's T-H-E-S-T-O-C-K-S-W-O-O-S-H. So again, everyone, thank you and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. Hello, everyone, and welcome. At the sound of the trumpets, most of you know that means it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host presenter today from thestockswoosh.com. Please welcome Melissa Arno. Thank you, Kevin and Kathy. Thank you, everyone in Online Trader Central. And welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. And tonight I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is shorting. I short stocks. I short stocks in the market every day. I just prefer to short. And we're going to talk about why tonight. And if we have time at the end, we can look at some charts of some things that happen in the market today or answer any questions as we go along. Just feel free to write. I can see everyone's questions below in here where I'm typing. And I'll answer them as we go along. So tonight I'm going to talk about making $100,000 a year shorting stocks that gap. Now, as I said, I prefer to short. The word gap is actually a strategy, a particular strategy in the market that tells me what stock to trade. So I'm looking for stocks in the US market, that's what I trade, that are gapping. And we'll talk about this in a little bit. Now, for those of you that are on my email list, watch for the emails out this week because I just rolled out my new website and I'm gonna be offering class specials and giveaways all week to celebrate the new website. And so if you are not on my list and want to be on the list, then email me at melissathestockswoosh.com to get on my list. And you can go check out my new site. It's www.thestockswoosh.com. And if you have any questions or would like more information, you can always call me here at 929-3200-GAP. And you can follow me on YouTube where I have most of the previous webinars that I've done with Online Trader Central. And I have also market replays and uh, plays of the days on there as well. So let's get started. One of the questions somebody asked me in, in a previous room trial, someone was on a trading room trial, and they said, can you make money, Melissa, how is this possible making money shorting stocks in a bullish market? Because this is a chart here of the overall SPY going back, well, since 2008. Here was the market when it kind of collapsed in here in 08 and 09, and I had just gotten into trading, and I was creating my own gap method system during this period when the market actually was pulling up and becoming bullish. So I've been shorting stocks and making money shorting stocks during this entire uptrend in the, in the market. This is the S&P. Now I squished this together here so you can't really see the bars that well, but this is what the chart is. It was just going back about eight years. So the question is, you know, the answer to the question is yes, you can make money shorting stocks in the bullish market. The strategy I trade on gaps has absolutely nothing to do with what the market's doing. And obviously, you can make money shorting stocks in a bearish market. Now, we are not in a bearish market, but this is a chart of the S&P current for the calendar year 2016. If you go back and look, since January, the market 
fell. Okay, this was the open of the year on January 4th, and we went boom right into January 20th. Within two weeks, we just dropped off a cliff here. Now we are working our way around. Today we worked our way around a little bit too, but if you just look at the year, we're actually bearish, but we're still in an uptrend. The point I'm trying to make is you can make money shorting in either trend. Either overall trend of the market, you can make money. If you have a specific reason for doing that stock, okay? So I'm looking to short stocks that are gapping. That's it. This isn't about shorting anything in the planet while the market's rallying. Although things that were strong, that are strong, did fall when the market took this dip in here. We're going to look at one of those charts tonight. So shortings and making money, okay? How do they go together? Because when you place a trade short, you are, you're betting. Really what you're doing is you're betting. You're saying, I'm betting that the stock is going to drop underneath the price that it's currently at. So for example, if a stock is opens at ten dollars, you're and you short it at ten, you're betting that it's going to drop under ten. Uh, that's the only way you're going to make any money. You will not make money going long the stock if it drops, okay, and you will not make money shorting the stock if it rallies. You have to look at it and say, wait a minute, what am I trying to do here with the stock? Do I believe that it is higher on the live day? Or do I believe it is lower in the live day? And this is if you're a day trader. And what I do is I day trade. Now you can use my method for doing options trades for overnights, but they're short-term options, uh, not long-term options. Although you can look at long-term options too. But in that case, you have to play the overall trend. But you certainly, certainly can make $100,000 a year doing this as a full-time job. This is a trade I just did on Friday. It was TRN. We will look at this today. If you make $1,000 a day, that's way more than 100 grand a year. I'm not saying you have to make $1,000 a day trading, but if you have common days like this, it totals up to be over six figures a year and well over that if you're taking and plopping on the size. It happens though only when you get the right pick. For example, there were many stocks that gapped on Friday. I chose to short TRN. We will look at one other one today, but this was the best one to do. It actually went to the dream target and it's all about finding that one pick to make money every day. I usually do one trade a day. That's all that I usually do. And if you do that and you have the right focus, you can make money doing this as your full-time job. And in fact, not only that, it's extremely important to have this as a focus if you don't have another source of income. If you have another source of income, it's fine. If you don't have another source of income though, when you're up, you gotta take it off. I'm up, I take my trains and I'm out, okay? I think that's the best way to look at it it's never over to the fat lady sings. You could be up money in a trade. It could go against you. So you need to get out of it with the profit. Amaron is asking a question here. There used to be a rule that you could not short a stock under $5. I don't, I don't know anything about that rule. There is something, though, where they take your full buying power. Maybe you're confused about that, Amaron. Is that what you mean? In other words, if you have an account at a broker and they're giving you leverage, okay, say the stock's worth $100 a share, you will get leverage on that to short it. And if you're at a retail place, it could be a 30% requirement or 25% requirement, depends on the stock. But if you get down to the cheaper ones, $5 and under, there will, you will not be, it will not be on leverage. So for example, if you want to short the stock and it costs $5 a share, you have to have that full amount of the buying power and therefore the leverage for the margin. It's not on margin. Is that what you mean, Amaron? Because that's the case. Other than that, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not the case right now, currently. I don't know what happened years ago. But I do know they take the full uh, requirement. In other words, you can't short stocks under $5 on margin. But that's not a big deal. And my goodness, I mean, you'd have to take a million shares of something to even have that matter. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry about that. Although there are times when I actually do short stocks that cheap. I can't remember the last time, but there are some times. So let's talk about what I was saying. $100,000 a year, what does that equate to? When you break it down, you chunk it out. You don't need to make $1,000 a day. It's nice when you do, and obviously if you do, you can make way more than hundred grand a year. But $500 a day, $500 a day, $500 a day is $2,500 a week. $2,500 a week is ten dollars a month, and $10,000 a month is $120,000 a year, and give or take holidays in the U.S. market, because it is close some holidays, we were close for President's Day. Bottom line is, you can make that kind of money. 
what happens is many people lack the focus and they can't see the bigger picture. They're so stuck on a set amount of money in each, in each trade, okay, that they think they have to make or whatever, that they miss the boat of the overall larger picture, which is, wait a minute, if I just trade the right thing, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not over trade, not have big losses, not lose too many days, be very focused, hit the right stock, only do one trade a day, boom, there's my goal, okay? It's the fact that many traders are so short-sighted and they're like, I gotta make this, I gotta make this, I gotta make this, I gotta make this. No, you just look at it overall and say, per week, per month, whatever it helps you to stay the focus. And also, obviously, one of the benefits of day trading, which is what I do, is you can work from home. And any kind of job where you can make six figures a year or more working from home is fantastic. And many people are doing this. In fact, I live in a building right now in New York City where there is quite a few people that actually work from, from their apartments, from home. It's This is nothing new. There's a lot of people in New York, LA, London, people that work from home and make good money. So you don't necessarily have to commute or go into an office to make this kind of money. And it's a nice lifestyle because you can work and get other things done and you don't have to deal with the stress of the commute. Now, one of the gaps from Friday was AFOP. One of the ones was TRN, that's the one I did. Again, I like to do one, one per day, but you could have done two on Friday. You can do two. I'm running the live trading room, but this was another good one. Look at the move the stock made. Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm gonna explain. A gap is when the stock closes as a daily chart. It closes a certain number here, 1430, let's say, approximately it closed at on Thursday evening and in the morning on Friday, it opened around 1320-ish. So the stock gap down, about a dollar. And then, look what it did. It fell more than a dollar on the day. And if you shorted it, you made money. The red depicts uh, the price going lower those of you that don't know candlesticks. But all the gap is is when the stock closes at one price at four o'clock Eastern time, when the market closes, it opens at a different price the next day. That's it. Now, what happened when this opened? The stock is, this is a one minute. The stock clears here the night before around, again, 1430-ish. Open the next day here, boom, dropped. Here's the short. And you're in it and you're out. So you short it on your platform and your live trading platform, boom. And this is what I call the money move. And it went right to the target. Do you see how quickly this is happening? It's happening very, very quickly. That's one of the other benefits of the trading method that I do. The entries that I take, the picks, the stocks I'm looking for is the fastness, the speed, the execution. The, the idea of shorting is you're shorting into the panic. Now, the price of this entry, you shorted the stock at $12.85. The stock was $13.05. So your risk is the difference between the entry and the stop. Risk is 20 cents. I teach this in the class, how to take it, where to put the stop. This is all important in your risk amount. In order to make $100,000 a year, you have to risk about four or $500 per trade. So all of these here I'm looking at, I'm looking at examples of $500 per risk unit. This is how you're gonna to get to the goal if you really wanna do this. If you say, I really wanna do this, Melissa, this is, I wanna make this money. I'm telling you, this is what your risk needs to be between four and 500. Exit was $12. It actually broke 12, but that was the target. Total profit, $2,125 if you risked 500. This is a very good trade. You were in the trade only for 10 minutes. Boom, boom. And again, it doesn't even matter if you don't even hold the whole thing down, you still could have made $1,000 or more. And if your goal is only to make $500 a day, you just made your goal for the week almost here. You understand this is what I'm talking about this is where the idea of checking it out sometimes I get up on a Monday I don't like anything I don't do anything now I did like something today but sometimes Mondays are slow then you get a good one on a Tuesday and a good one on a Wednesday and all of a sudden you're putting together a week you don't have to over trade to make this kind of money one of the other nice benefits is you can trade and live anywhere in the world half the people that are in my live trading room and half the people that have taken my golden gap class are not even in the US they're all over the place all over the world, okay? The US market has a lot of volatility and momentum, just like the stock drop and the move I showed you in the AFOP. So ultimately, people want to take advantage of that. There's billions of dollars running through the US market, and so people wanna trade it. And it only takes a few hours a week to do it. Really, I run the room till 11 o'clock every day, but we're usually done with our trades by 10 o'clock, 10, 15. And then I do the review after that. 
So how can you make this kind of money? Well, I told you you need the strategy, which is the gap. You're also being focused by only picking one stock and you're looking at risking between four or $500 a day, okay, to get to that goal. And you're only looking to do one trade a day so that you keep your losses low. If one doesn't work, then it's not a big deal. For example, let's say you took two trades. One of them on Thursday, pretend didn't work, you lost 500. And if you did AVOP on Friday, you made 2100. That means for two days, you're still profitable $1,600. Do you see how you have to be, have the focus? And you also have to believe that you can be successful and have a shot at doing this. But this is so basic, what I'm telling you. This is so basic common sense. This idea of having one focus keeps your losses low. The idea of having one strategy means you have the focus. The idea of only doing one directional bias, which I prefer to short, although every once in a blue moon I'll go long, but I really prefer to short. The only way I'm going long is if I don't like any shorts, which sometimes happens. But the idea of even focusing your focus down so much to doing on one direction, this is how you can see that you can be successful. It's the, it's the over exuberance of traders when they start to get and press the buttons that they're all of a sudden taking all these trades. And I know because I've been there. This is I'm talking from experience. But success in the market is really about skill. You have to have the skill. It is a skill best career if you're going to do it for a job. And let's just say you don't want to do it for a job. Either way, if you want to do it for part time income, you still have to have the skill because otherwise you'll lose. All highly paid careers are skill based. This means someone like a physician, a musician, attorneys, and you need to have the right skills and knowledge in order to succeed. The interesting thing about trading is that people either, number one, don't realize how important the right knowledge and skill set is before they risk money in a trade. They think that they're going to throw darts at a board. They're like, well, if I take five of these, some are going to work even though some won't. That isn't going to get you where you need to be. Either I like a trade or I don't do it. Okay. And the other thing is, number two, many people think they have the right knowledge but really don't. In other words, a lot of people read trends based on higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows. A lot of people think the market's in a downtrend right now. It's not. It's not. And that will soon come about that it is really still in an uptrend. But I'm saying sometimes people think they know how to trade, but they don't. Now, how would they, they think they know how to trade because they have a lot of information. But if they look at their bank account or their trading account, they're not up money that tells you then that they don't know how to trade. So that's, I mean, I'm sorry to say it, but that's really kind of how you have to look at it, okay? Uh, we have another question here. Of course, I just said that. Amaron is asking me, will I shorten the market as a bullish bias? Yes, I just, I just said that when we were talking about that at the beginning. You might have signed in er uh, later, but yes, I said that. I said it has nothing to do with that, and yes. So to be successful, you need a successful strategy, which as I said, is gaps, okay, for me. And you've got to have the focus. So in order to reap the rewards the market has to offer, you need a quality system to follow. This helps you focus. For me, I have something it's, I use. It's a checklist. That checklist every morning is my focus. So even if I get up out of the bed late or I'm tired or I didn't have a coffee yet, I sit down, I just pull out my checklist. And then that, that sets me focused. Because sometimes you get up in the morning, if you just open up your platform, you look at your charts, you might be like, oh, this looks good, and that looks good, and this thing looks good. And if you wait until the open, until 9.30 to decide what you want to do, all of a sudden everything looks good, or you don't know what to do, and then it's 10 o'clock and everything's already gone. Again, I don't, I don't trade like that. I get up in the morning early, 7.30, 8 o'clock, I'm looking at my charts, I pull out my worksheet, I go through my checklist. I, I don't even have my platform open. I just have my charting package up and look at it. I don't even have my live platform open yet. And I'm just looking at the charts. And I go through my checklist. And I figure out what I like to do today. And then I know everything before the open. Okay? It's the prep time. And my strategy and checklist helps me have that focus. Also, this idea of shorting, which we're going to talk about in a minute, is the topic for today. Many traders just don't know how to short. They don't know how to short. They won't short. They... They, they stink at it, okay? I'm very good at shorting. Some people are afraid to short things are down too much, they say. Some people only short rallies, but then, then they don't even work, and it's not a short anyways. Some people think gaps or fill themselves, which doesn't work, okay? And they want to short things gapping up. A lot of traders have absolutely no idea how to short. Now, let's talk about shorts. Who shorts in the first place, and how do you get to the point of shorting? Some insiders indicate that it takes a certain type of person to short stocks. Whatever that is, I definitely have it. Many short sellers have been depicted as pessimists who are rooting for companies' failure. That's funny. That's not me. Um, 
but they've also been described as disciplined and confident in their judgment. That's more like me, okay? I see something I'm very, very confident, and I say to myself, this thing has panic written all over itself. And that's where I get the confidence in the proper judgment to take my short. I'm definitely not a pessimist. In fact, I'm probably overly optimistic. <laughs> but anyways, getting back to this, I'm very confident when I see a gap in a stock that I feel it's going to sell off, that I can take the position betting, like I said, and I'm saying the word bet to understand what I mean, because a lot of people don't understand what a short means. I'm betting it's going to drop in the price, okay? So here we are. Who can short? Wealthy and sophisticated investors, hedge funds, large institutions, banks, okay? They meet this qualification, and day traders. Day traders like me. And if you want to learn how to day trade like me, then obviously you would learn how to do this. So one is a short. Short selling is a selling of a stock that the seller doesn't own. You are borrowing it from the broker temporarily, but you're flat by the end of the day by 4 o'clock. So you're not really getting like a stock certificate or owning or anything. You don't own it. You're borrowing it. You're pre-borrowing it. More specifically, a short sale is a sale of a security that isn't owned by the seller, but that is promised to be delivered. This is important so you understand this. That may sound confusing, but actually it's a very simple concept. It's, it's a simple concept, but a lot of people don't get it. Now, if you've traded before and you've shorted, you might understand this. But for those of you that have never traded in your life, you got to get this. When you short sell a stock, your broker will lend it to you. This all happens very quickly, but you do have to check in the morning you have the short before you take the position live. The stock will come for the brokerage's own inventory from another one of the firm's customers or from another brokerage firm. The shares are sold and the proceeds are credited to your account of the difference of the price of the move. Sooner or later, you must close the short by buying back the same number of shares. It's called covering. It's short covering. You buy to cover and returning them to your broker. If the price drops, you can buy back the stock at the lower price and make a profit on the difference. If the price of the stock rises, you have to buy it back at the higher price and you lose. Again, like I was saying, you are, you're betting that it's going down. Let's look at one here. This was last week too. This was Thursday. This was MGM. This was a short. So if you saw MGM in the morning, this was on Thursday, the stock gapped down. It closed the night before up here at $20 and some cents, gapped down here to $19 and some cents. Again, the amount of the difference of the price of the gap doesn't matter, but it matters that it gapped down because I'm looking to go through my checklist, my system that I invented and see this and say, wait a minute, do I think this thing is going to go under 1950 or wherever it's opening? And I go through the checklist. The checklist says, yes, yes, Melissa, it is going to, or maybe it won't. You don't know. Every stock is different. Every gap is new. So anyways, you figure it out before 930. Now, what happened with this one? It did drop. Dropped like a cliff, fell more than a dollar, and so this was a good short. It actually continued. Could have done this as a swing trade fell into itself the following day as well. What happens? How? What made MGM drop like that? Panic. It's fear and panic. Like this guy here, he's going nuts. He doesn't know what to do. He's going crazy. The fear and panic are real emotions that affect people's decisions and trades they take in the market. If you've ever traded before, you know what I mean? Because you've had these feelings. No one that has ever traded has never had, not had this feeling. Any person that has ever traded in their life has had this fear and panic feeling in trades. You might have had them when you were down. You might have had them when you were up. You might have been unaware of it. You might have been fully aware of it. You might have only been aware of it after the fact. Many, many times what happens when you fear and panic comes over you, guess what? You lose. But if you're smart, if you're brilliant, if you understand this, okay, which is I understand this and I'm teaching people this, you can use that information by seeing the fear and panic in others to profit on. Now, I hope I'm making sense. Panic also sets in fast, okay? People just want to dump stocks that are sometimes gapping down because they're panic, 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 okay? It happens very quickly, and as I showed you in the AFOP, stock fell first 10 minutes of the day. Set the low in the first 10 minutes of the day. People just panic, shoo, sold, okay? And that's the nice thing about my strategy where you trade in the morning. And you've got to become an expert in this because this is how you're going to get the edge. You're going to get the edge by reading the stock that's gapping, okay, and predetermining with the checklist that I use and teach people to use before the open what is going to have panic on the live day. This is where you get the edge. You see it beforehand in the gap. You know what to do before 930. You're only taking one trade because you believe in it. You understand panic and how it works 
to short against, to short into for the selling action. You're shorting with shorts and you're also shorting selling action too. So this kind of thing is exactly what you wanna see and do. Big, nice, fat red bars like this. And it doesn't matter what color you make your candlesticks, but this, like I said, depicts selling action. So I teach a method and a rating system to find stocks like AFOP or MGM. Because the fact is that there's thousands of stocks in the US stock market. And not only that, there's hundreds that gap every day. So you, couldn't, you can't possibly short every stock that's gapping down. They won't all work. And this is where some people misunderstand and, and they end up saying, well, wait a minute, that stock rallied, it filled the gap. Well, that probably was one I didn't short. It probably was one I didn't touch as a short, but I didn't buy it. So I developed a system. It's a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system because I like to short because I like to get the fast moves. I like to get big moves and I have an edge by doing this into the panic of selling action. And of course, with more shorts. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And this is where you get the focus because you have a checklist next to you. And then it stops you from doing the fatty fingers on the live day. And for those of you that are training and have a problem with discipline, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you gotta get it under control. The philosophy behind my 26 points is to find stocks to trade that have number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Because APOP actually, you could have been in short all day. Closed at the low. Big moves on the day, which to me is a dollar or more unless you're playing a very expensive stock. Early confirmation of my bias in the move between 9.30 and 10 a.m. And precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. And you really gotta have that risk to reward. If, you, if, you, if I don't have the risk to reward, I don't do it. And I'll tell you, every once in a while there's something and I see it's gonna go to a certain place as a trade, as a long or a short, and sometimes I don't take it. I, and, I, and then I wish I would have. And then I said, oh, I should have taken it. But I don't see the risk to reward, even though it was a trade with money and profit in it. This is a personal preference, but I really am always looking for the good risk to reward. But I have a checklist and I teach this checklist in a class. I go boom, boom, boom. In the morning, every single solitary trade I take, I go through the checklist for. But I'm looking to analyze the daily chart. That's where I'm looking at the checklist. Then I'm taking the entry on the one minute chart as I showed you on AFOP. That's how I'm getting the good risk to reward because I'm taking the trade and like with that one in a 20 cent stop. Otherwise, where are you putting the stop? You can't have it in a limited risk. So this again is the genius behind my system because I'm looking at a bigger time frame to determine the directional bias the stock's gonna move in the live day and what institutions are gonna do with it, buy it or sell it. And then I as an individual, as one person with a fixed amount of risk and money and buying power is taking the position and I wanna get in and out. And for that, it's really the shorts. And it's not that you can't make money going long, you can make money going long, but it takes longer. I'm sorry to say it does and so I prefer to short. Now, again, looking at MGM, this is the one minute chart of MGM. See the panic. What makes this? All of this bars, these bars down here actually are volume bars, okay? This is a one minute, 930, 931, 932, 933, 934. In the first five minutes of the day, the stock dropped more than a dollar. This is one of the beautiful reasons to trade gaps too, because an institution whoever, whatever it was, hedge fund, whatever, sold this position into this open here because this is too big of a move to happen with too much volume too quickly in minutes by individual traders. And this is what you wanna learn how to do so that you can play this. Any piece of this you got is real money and you, you're you done. I mean, you're done literally in five minutes. So, you, but you have to have the accuracy. You have to have the right pick. You have to have the right pick and not only that, you have to have it most of the days. Most of the days you have to have it. There are people that are out there and saying, oh, I saw MGN had earnings and it gapped and they might have done it and I might have done it, but did they do it with the same entry as me? And how many days in a calendar year did they get the number one one? I get the number one gap most of the days of the year that are ever out there. I pick the best one, just like TRN on Friday because of my rating system. So you've got to have something that gives you that precision with the entry, with the pick, okay, that points in the right direction. Because it's just too much risk out there to be in too many trades at once. And that's not to say you couldn't say, well, I'm gonna risk $500 a day, Melissa, but I'm gonna take five trades and risk $100 per trade. All right, what are your risk to rewards gonna be then, okay? Maybe you make one R and one, a half an R another, lose in two. 
You're all over the place. Where's your conviction, your confidence, your discipline? You see what I'm saying? I'm so focused that I've honed these things within myself, which you need to do too, if you wanna get good at training, specifically if you wanna make $100,000 a year or more, you've gotta hone those discipline and confidence skills within yourself to do it. And you don't really get there if you're doing too many trades. Because in general, you're just plopping things on. And, and just, you know, some are just not gonna work. And then you feel like you did something wrong, but you didn't do anything wrong at all. You just didn't have the focus or the detail. And you have to have the trained eye. The trained eye matters. I've been calling the market bullish and then it's gonna make a new high and no one believes me. I'm certainly no one believes me anymore. If you watch all my videos, I called it accurately for the last few years. But I did believe we would continue it. I didn't know we'd fall since the beginning of the year. We have. We're still gonna make a new high this year. I'm probably the only person out there that's saying that. But I have a huge, huge, uh, what's the word? Like I just, I have so much confidence in what I see. I've trained my eye so well that I know that I'm not wrong. How do you get to that point? Well, you could trade for eight years like I have the same system. That's gonna take you eight years. Or you learn and mentor under somebody like me where you get that knowledge and information a lot faster by doing the trades and seeing the trades that I'm taking and learning the stuff that I know from me and being mentored by me to train your eye because you may not want to wait eight years. And the reason it's, you know, I've been training for eight years, I lost for the first three till I figured this stuff out. But I have such a trained eye that I can see something and even though it looks absolutely impossible that it's never going to happen in a million years and then it happens because I've trained my eye to read charts so well because of the way that I read gaps. And that's how I'm able to pick something like this. Now let's look at TRN. TRN was the gap from Friday. Beautiful, fabulous, went to the dream target. I didn't even hold this thing all the way down. You could have been in this trade into the afternoon. Again, I don't like to trade into the afternoon, especially on a Friday. But this was amazing. Dream target was 16, it broke 16, went to 15, 70 something, I think. It was crazy, but it was good. And how does something go like that? How does something drop like that? Momentum, this is how you get it. The momentum comes into the stock in the first half hour of the day. The panic selling comes into the stock in the first half hour of the day. And the panic selling comes into the gap and then follows through in the gap. Here we have the MGM. Now, I said earlier, I showed you the first five minutes of this. What was the trade? What was the trade entry? The stock opened at 9.30, boom, you're in. Right away, you get it, a dollar. And then you're out. That's it, that's all that you need. If you have 1,000 shares, you make 1,000 bucks and a dollar. 2,000 shares, you make $2,000 on, on, two, on a dollar move. But you've got to get it because if you go look after the fact to see what this does, this was the low of the day in the stock. This was the low of the day in the stock. It set the low of the day in the first five minutes of the day. Never broke the low. Had a couple other plays in it, but not, not like this, okay? So the entry was 1925. Stop was 1945. This risk is great. Look at this again, 20 cents. 20 cents in a stock at this price point is amazing. If you want to make $100,000 a year or more, you've got to risk 400 to 500. Same risk on every trade. Here, you could have taken 2,500 shares. Nice position. This is not at the low. This was a target, 1850. If you held it down all the way, it went and broke 1820. You could have made another 30 cents. Okay, you could have made another 700 bucks on this, but this was a target. And again, if you're doing this for a living and you have certain monetary goals and you're up your goal, your goal is only $500 a day or $1,000 a day, you're up almost 2,000, you take it. Again, if your goal is $2,500 a week, you're almost there with this one trade, okay? And, and you might have done AFOF on Friday as well. This was Thursday. Risk to reward was 3.75 times the amount risk made in profit. Time in trade was four minutes. Again, what I love about selling and panic and shorting, this is huge. I'm not saying you can never make money going long in five minutes. You can. Sometimes things open and swoosh. I'm not going to talk about that today, but there's bullish swooshes. But, but I definitely have found over the course of trading in eight years and why I've gravitated towards shorts that there's an edge in that because of the speed and because of the panic. Because people just can't stand it. They can't stand it when they're down. They can't take it. They can't take suffering. And again, I say people, and I like to talk about stocks because I talk about stocks like they're people because they almost are like people because it's people that are trading them. But I'm telling you, it's like people can't stand having any type of pain. We're very adverse to pain as human beings. We don't like it. That's why half the planet is on medication, pharmaceutical drugs. I mean, come on. This is just like, you know, I mean, this is like common sense too. 
people cannot stand to have any pain. And when you are down money, you can't take the pain. And so this is where the panic comes in. And as a person, as an intelligent human being that has a method and understands shorting and selling and panic action, you're going to take advantage of that to make money in the market. And you really have to have an edge to make money in the market. I mean, you can't just be like, la, 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 la. If you're la, 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 all the day, you can't understand what's happening in the market right now. And you really want to understand when it turns around again. But it's like, this is, you are in there deep in the waters of the muckety muck and the ocean of the market with people that are, that have tons of money. So much money that you can't even fathom it. If you thought and thought and thought, you can't fathom it. That's the people that are moving the market. They own everything. They are doing it. They are controlling stocks and doing stuff. And they are in the market. And they are doing what they're doing. And so you have to learn how to read and be with those people. Okay? Can everybody hear me? I just saw a little click. Am I still online here? I had internet issues today. I just saw a flash a flash there. Just give me a heads up and let me know if everybody can see me. Okay, that was weird. Something just flashed. All right, very good. Uh, what was I saying? Do, 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 do. Oh, you have to have an edge because there's people in the market that have lots of money and they're smart. So, and this, this is nothing to do with day trading. This is just in general. You want to be invested in the market. You got to be with those upper crust of people that control stuff. You don't have to have a lot of money necessarily to trade. You can take whatever money you have and make money on it if you know what to do, playing with those people. But you have to be able to read what those people are doing, the people that have all the money and are controlling things, controlling the stocks and buying and selling them and shorting them. And you have to be able to read it ahead of time because after the fact, it's too late. Okay. What's my life? Schroeder, I, I, I missed what you were saying or what, I don't know if there was a delay with that. So you have to be able to find it ahead of time, okay? So I have a checklist that tells me MGM is a watch, or in this day here, TRN is a watch. Oh, the flashing, I know. I know. <laughs> I know, what can I say? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm amazing with numbers. I, I, I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm amazing with numbers, love numbers. When it comes to machines or those types of technical things, I'm just like, uh, I'm really good with numbers. These other things, I'd rather not deal with them. <laughs> As Kathy well knows, because she helps me every day. Let's look at TRN. Okay, going back here, what happened? Stock close here the night before, gap down. Beautiful, 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 dropped. Okay, this again dropped more than a dollar. Almost two dollars, I think. Now here we have TRN. Here is a one minute chart. Stock closed up here 21 something, gap down here to 17 something. So this is a one minute chart. You watch the stock. Here's the short. You short it here. Again, look at the move in the morning of the selling action and the shorts, okay? So I like to be done by 10 o'clock. Now that's not to say this stock didn't go lower, it did. It did not hit $16 a dream target by the morning. It broke 16 later in the day and you could have shorted it later. But I will tell you that if you do this again for a career and your goal is in in the morning, wherever it's in, you don't want the stock to back up against you. Just take it once your goal is in. Or you could lower the stock. You could have lowered the stop on this one down. But this ended up not being the low of the day. It actually did go lower than that. Price of the entry in this one was 17.25. So the stop was bigger in this. 1775 was a stop, it's 50 cents. If your risk is $500, it has to be the same. You can't take 2,500 shares of this if you normally risk 500, okay? You have to have, this This is the number that has to be the same. This number varies. See, people get confused about this. And listen to what I'm saying. This number is the same. This number will vary and this number will vary. You don't know until the stock opens and it sets up. You know you like this, but you don't know how it's gonna set up. You learn the entries in the class. There's more than one entry. You don't know until it opens. But this number has to be the same or your, or your results are going to be all over the place. Exit, really, 1650 was the target on this. 1650 was a target. If you get out at 1650, you made 750 bucks. This is still a solid, solid trade. $750. Again, your goal is $500 a day. $500 a day, so your goal is in. But I will tell you that it went and kept going. Boom, boom, boom. Broke 16.50 and then fell harder. Low in here is around 16.14, 16.15-ish. But it did break $16, went to 15.80, I think, or something. 
Gary has asked me a question. Do I scan for, to find potential candidates? Yes, that's how I find stocks. I scan them, but I only scan them on my platform. I don't have a special scanner. You can buy a special scanner if you want to. That's not necessary. Now, how many gaps do we get per week? Usually there's one a day that's a good one. Now, in earnings season, there could be two or more per day. For example, AFOP and TRN were beautiful, fabulous gaps. I love them both on Friday. And it is earnings season right now. It is a good time to make money. It's winter. You hunker down in the cold. You make money. You trade. It's a good time to do it now. February, March, okay? During non-earnings season, there's still gaps to do every day. But maybe you don't do anything on a Monday. Maybe you do one on a Tuesday, one on a Wednesday, one on a Thursday. There's not as many in non-earning season in between the earning season quarterly results. Some days there's four, some days there's five in earning season. You just never know, okay? A quality gap is the one that rates high enough to trade based on the 26 point rating system. And this is the system that I created, 26 points. Gosh, it's, you know, it's so weird because I'm trying to think when I actually had all the points together. I have to think about this because I had started writing my book. It wasn't like I rolled out of bed and had 26 points. I started training at the end of 2008 and, and this kind of, it was just like, it just developed with itself. It's like anything else that you want to do in your life. You want to, you want to make, you say, I want to make a million dollars. All right, let's back it off. Let's start from square one. Do you even know how to trade it all? And then you have to find a system that works. Then you have to find a good trader that can mentor you, someone like me, that can help you get through the system and learn it. Because you're gonna go through ups and downs and you gotta learn what you're doing. And it's a process. It really, really is an absolute uh, process when you're doing this. But I will tell you that um, it was a process for me to come up with this many points. I have not changed my system in any regard for years. So it's a very, very good system. And most days of the calendar year, I picked the top stock to short. I'm very good at spotting the shorts. So you need a plan for booking the money quickly. This is a personal preference. And luckily, because I like to short, I have that ability every day. But there are days, like I showed you with TRN, you could have been in it till the afternoon. But you need a business plan. What are you doing? What's your trading plan? In other words, say you're in TRN and you're up $2,000 or $1,000, whatever, but it starts to push against you. Well, you better know what you're doing. Because what if it doesn't go to the dream target? What if it doesn't go to the next target? And then you're going to be up $1,000 and then you're going to be down? So you can't do that. Trading can't be about gambling. You have to say, I'm doing this because it rates this many points for the system. I'm doing this because it's a short. It's a good gap. I'm risking this much money. Here's my target. If it gets close to the target, I'm out. Okay. I have two top picks today. I'm only going to do one. You've got to have risk to reward in every trade you take. What do I mean? For every dollar I risk, I'm looking to make at least two or three, preferably three, but there are days where you get a TRN and the stock falls and could be a 10 hour trade, but you gotta hold it down. So the people that are out there scalping, I don't, I don't scalp, okay? I'm playing momentum that happens fast. The speed and execution may be like a scalp for the speed of it, but it's really not about a, that as a scalp because I'm looking to make three, two to three on my trades. And scalpers are looking to make a half or a quarter or a little bit, okay? Or, or one is a big trade for a scalper. So again, one to three in the low end, I'm looking for four to six in the middle end of risk to reward for trades and eight to 10 in the high end. This means for every dollar I risk, I should have a minimum of a $3 potential. As I was saying earlier, sometimes I see a good trade to make money and I, I pass because I think the stop's too big and then it, then it ends up working. Also, there should be a potential for even more of a payout if the stock goes to a dream target. And that was the case in the TRN. But you really have to have uh, knowing what you're doing for something and saying, I'm going to risk this much money. I'm going to make this much money. I'm going to get to that point. What is your goal? You must chunk it out. Here's the chunk. You want to say to yourself, I'm going to make $2,500 a week. And then you back it off from there. $500 a day. Okay. So... If you're brand, brand new, I'm saying you should risk four to $500 per trade. If you get good though, you can get away with risking $200 a trade and make $2,500 a week. But if you're new, you're probably going to take the trade and get out quickly when you see you're up. I tend to find that new people get out too quickly. Okay. It's like the opposite. Traders have been trading for a long time, hold too long, give back money that they're up, wanting it to go to some crazy number, and people that are new get out too fast. It's like the opposite. 
So I'm giving you like a good starting point here. Now, if you cannot afford to risk $500 per trade or $400 per trade, then you risk what you can afford to risk. For example, $150 a day profit, which is very reasonable, is still almost 40 grand a year. And some people don't make this at their job a year. Now, you know, this isn't maybe even gonna pay your bills, but it's a good starting point for a part-time income to, sub, you know, to uh, substitute another job that you may have until you get good at doing this where you can start to make more money. And actually $300 a day is almost 80 grand a year. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And this will pay the bills for some people, not everyone, but some. And again, you're trading so quickly, so fast. You're in and out of these things in minutes, minutes, okay? So to be able to make even 40 grand a year trading something for five, 10 minutes, is that's amazing. That's huge. So I can teach you how to make this kind of money shorting because I have such an edge doing it. I have a great focus, a good eye. I have a system, which is a checklist that I personally invented for myself, never for the purpose of teaching anyone, but I do teach people now. I teach people successfully in my Golden Gap course how to short stocks that are gapping. It is based off of a 26 point rating system on the daily chart. It tells you what stock to trade the best one each day. Today you can go look at it, it was LL. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day to get good risk to reward trades because that's how you make money, okay? Because you're as a day trader, you're in and you're out. The course also teaches price analysis and technical analysis at an advanced level. And, and technical analysis is based on chart reading, candlestick patterns, and, and you can study that stuff on your own if you want. That's not the crux of what I do, but it's something that you will learn or you can work on that yourself, reading about candlesticks. The course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction. And the course also teaches you how to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you become a good trader. And, Ultimately, you want to become a good trader. Your goal should really, I mean, everyone obviously is doing this to make money, and that's why you want to trade. But your goal should really to be to get good. Your goal should be you want to get good at this thing. Because if your goal is too focused on the money, you may actually miss the boat of what you're supposed to do with the trade. In other words, you might actually uh, screw up the target, okay? So it's all based on a 26-point rating system. You go through check 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 and you tally them up every day i do this with every gap before i trade it before they open so i know what my pick is now some people ask me is the class beginner or advanced my class is advanced okay my class is an advanced class it's a lot of information it's 16 hours if you have never traded before does that mean you can't do it or you won't get it no not at all in fact i found that many people that have never traded in their life before and have no preconceived notions about anything with trading tend to do well because they don't have any bad habits they're not in fear about it they don't think things do gap fills or whatever they don't think things that don't work and so that they start with me and they learn the right thing so there's no downside here if you've never traded before learning my system or if you've never traded gaps it's okay you will learn from scratch with me and you know it, it is advanced because we're looking at a lot of things in the chart and that's why the class is 16 hours but you have to understand there's there's just more than one step on the ladder in people's journey and even if you've taken classes before and you feel like well i didn't get my money's worth out of it why might you have taken a class before and not got your money's worth because you don't you didn't make money in the market after the class usually what happens is people take a class feel like they got gypped because they didn't make money after the class i have a very successful business and run a live trading room and call trades so people take my class after the class you're eligible to join the room and you can take my calls you are not eligible to join the room unless you've taken my class but it is a stepping stone to help people after the class to be in the live room to take my calls to make money so that they can move forward on their own ladder, getting it and doing it themselves. Because ultimately, I am teaching you to do it for yourself. I'm here as a support system in the room if you need it, but you go on the ladder yourself so you can get it yourself and get it down and do it. And I think that is very important because ultimately you're risking your own money. You are risking your own money no matter what you're doing, so you still have to know it. I'm your support system in the class. I'm your support system in the room, okay? You, um, have to learn how to do it to make money. But I do have a system that allows people to make the money back for the class rather quickly. Now, let me ask a question here. And, and, and really, if they're in the room. Gary says, what platform do you use to execute your trades? Sterling. Although I've talked about this in several videos, Sterling is having charting issues. 
I, ha I have had outages on my charting platform with Sterling on and off for the last month and a half, and it is not improving. So at this point, Gary, I can't tell you really what you should do or where you should go. Go with whoever you want to go with because I may be switching myself, okay? Look into a platform. You have to have a live level two, and you need charts that work. But level two has been working. Well, no, that's not even true. I had the level two freeze up twice on me in the last month. So they're working on changing servers. It, it hasn't happened yet. You got it. You got it. Practice and check ones out. You got to understand what you're doing before you place a trade with live money. Okay. Very important. And, and you got to have a system that works, you know, that you can be, have, be reliable. But I've been on Sterling for so, so long now. It's really hard to change, but I, and I haven't changed yet. But I, I don't know what I'm doing with that at this point. I don't advocate any platform per se right now. That's the truth. <laughs> I want to make it. I want to make it one for my own. <laughs> I'm going to create my own charting package and my own platform. Uh, that's in a dream world. That's what I'm doing. And my own scanner. And someday that's probably going to happen, but not right this second. At some point, you need to get on the right path, though, if you if you want to make it. And that really has to do with the foundation of the strategy that you're doing and having an edge. And for me, it's really shorting. Okay, but try not to let things that happened to you in, in the past, if you've had negative experiences in the market, losing money, doing strategies that didn't work, or in classes, try try not to let those stand in the way of your success. It's really, it really has a lot to do with your mindset. Now, does this mean that you're going to be successful if you have a good mindset? No, because if you have a crappy system, you're still not going to make money even if you're positive. You need to be positive, though, and have a good system. Because if you have a crappy mindset and a positive system, you may make mistakes. And, and it all may be as a result of you feeling so down in yourself and negative and negative about the market. Don't be self-destructive. So get your mindset on correctly when you're trading and focus. And you only have to do this for just several minutes every day. You can just that first half an hour period, okay? But it is worth it if you can figure out how to do this because you're only trading in the morning if you're in the Eastern time zone and if you're in the West Coast, it's early morning. If you're on the other side of the world, it could be at night, but it's such a small period of time that my strategy sets up. And I'd love to trade. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you do a job that you love, but one of the reasons that I switched careers and wanted to day trade as a career is because I didn't like doing mortgages anymore. It was very tough and I was working seven days a week. You've got to sometimes be willing to take risks to do something you love. And, and and if you can make good money doing it, I mean, it's like a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. You work from home, make good money, and you enjoy it. But it doesn't mean it doesn't involve any work. The work is that you will have to learn something. The learning curve is different for everyone. I don't know everyone individually, and I don't know people that are brand new that I never talked to before. And some people I've talked to before, I still don't know what they know until they do the class. You have to know yourself and say, you know what, I whatever it is, I'm going to learn it because I really want to do this thing. And I've been trying to do this thing for years. And all of a sudden now this is just making sense to me that that this idea of shorting the panic action, the idea of gaps themselves, which are created by institutions, something has to click or resonate within you that the strategy that I'm talking about in all of the videos that I do and all the web designers that I do with Online Trader Central clicks with you. And not only that, that you that you see that I know what I'm talking about, which which I absolutely do, or I wouldn't have a successful business now for the length of time that I have and been trading for eight years. And I've had the business now for over four. So it's way past the point of, you know, being a new uh, educational business. The amazing thing is actually that I'm still doing everything myself. <laughs> I don't think that's going to last for long. But at this point now, I still run the room and teach the classes myself, and you're getting the personal touch from me. So you're getting... The advantage of learning my system from me and trading with me, and I created it for myself, and I'm the expert at doing it right now at this point in my career and in my business and in my life. And you want you want that. This is the best case scenario for you, for 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 you and for me, okay? Because I'm the best person to learn it from because I'm really the expert at shorting. So empower yourself today to trade the market, and my class is a complete system to day trade and short stocks that are gapping. I teach you the entries, I teach you the rating system, I teach you the targets, you learn the stock swish in the class, and we also go over some, some mental programming that is important too, okay? The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. 
Retakes are free and the class is online. Class is online, which means you can be anywhere in the world and take it. And the class I'm doing is going to be Saturday and Monday. I had a very successful turnout for the, for the day two that I did in the Monday with live trading and gap analysis on day two. So I'm doing that for this next class because it was, it was very successful. So normally I do classes on Saturdays and Sundays. If you can't do the Monday on this class, you could sign up for this class, do the Saturday, and then do the day two, the next class in March, which will be Saturday and Sunday. But I'm doing Saturday and Monday this class because we're going to do the live gap trading and analysis on the Monday. Because obviously the market's closed on the weekend. Cost of the class is $39.99. If you would like to sign up, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And remember, your path to success really has got to be with a system. And for me, it's the Golden Gap course. I've, I've just, I've never, I don't trade anything other than the gaps. I do it for everything that I do. And it's a great time to short during earnings season. Now, I also teach another class called the Trends course. This class is going to be in March. It is about long-term trends in stocks. If you want to do swing trades, this is a good class. Although it does help you become a better day trader. This is $9.99. It's a two-day class. I do this during the week, 12 to 4. This will be in March. If you want to sign up for this, you can email me too. And all the class information is on the new website. The, the papers and forms to fill out, though, you have to email me. They are not on the website, and they're not going to be on the website. You have to contact me if you want to sign up to fill out the registration forms. But you could do the Trends class and the Golden Gap class for one price for $44.99. With a discount, you get half off the Trends class. You save almost $500. This is a special for this month. You would do the class this weekend, Saturday and Monday, and then the Trends class in March. Okay? And I am rolling out a Gap Options course, which I don't have the dates for yet. If you want more information on this, email me. This is going to include a subscription for the year for option calls. So it's not just going to be the class. It's, it's going to also include uh, a subscription for option calls, which you would get emailed to do the option on that specific day to take the trade uh, for the year, which is actually, this is a good deal. So email me if you have more interest in that. I don't have the dates for that yet, but everything is based on gaps. Every single thing that I do is based on gaps. And I've been doing options now in the last few months and have had some just huge, huge, massive success with them. Ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of money I've been making in them. And I thought, gosh, and I sat down for a week the other week and took off and, and wrote it all out. It's, you know, there's money to be made in the market. I am doing it. I am teaching people how to do it. People are doing it with me. It is real. If you are not, take a break, get your head on straight, think about what you want to do. If you still have conviction and believe in the market, if you do, you know, call me and talk to me. If you don't, take a take the year off. You gotta, Galhead says yes, yeah. Uh, you got to really know what you are capable of, okay? Just because maybe you're not in your mind making the money that you want to make right now, doesn't mean you're not capable of it. But know that it's possible. It's only you that is holding yourself back, okay? 2016 is here. It's still the start of the year. It's not too late for New Year's resolutions. You can have a New Year's resolution saying, you know what? This year, I'm going to make money in the market. Gosh darn it, this is my year, you can say to yourself. I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to follow my rules. I'm going to listen to what Melissa says. I'm going to take the class. I'm going to learn something new. I'm going to short or whatever you say to yourself. You've got to make the decision. This, the, you do have a choice. Everyone says, well, I don't know what to do, and I don't know this, and I don't know that. Find a way. Figure it out. There's always choices. The worst thing that you can do, I'll say this one last thing, and let everybody go. The worst thing that you can do is live your life with regret. It is the worst thing that you can do. Don't live your life with regret. Don't, don't, when I see a trade and I take it, first of all, I'm taking trades so quickly, okay, and I just take it. I just take it. Don't, don't live your life with regret and say, I wish I would have done that trade and I wish I would have taken this class and I wish I would have day traded and I wish I would have shorted and I wish I would have done this and I wish I would have gotten married and I wish I wouldn't have, whatever. Don't say that to yourself. Don't live your life in regret wishing for things. You are in control of your own destiny. I know you may not feel like it. You may feel like a victim to circumstances or things that happen or trades you've lost in or classes you took that didn't work out, but you can always turn it around. You, as long as you are alive on this planet, you can turn your life around. I truly believe that no matter what your circumstances are, but you do have to believe that you can and have an optimistic attitude. It may take you time if you're feeling down and out, but you can do it, okay? Please think seriously about the course of your life and your destiny because what you don't want to do is live your life with regret. 
and, and have missed opportunities because there's opportunities all over the planet, all over the place every day, tons and thousands and millions in New York, even the city that I live in. Don't let them pass you by. <laughs> Galad says correct, yes. All right, does anyone have any questions about anything else? If you would like a trial of the live trading room this week, email me at info at the stockswish.com and look for giveaways we're gonna do this week for the website rollout and, and, and some specials, okay? Thanks everyone for coming. Thanks Online Trader Central. Any other questions? You're welcome. Thanks everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay.